Silva, a member of the National Executive Council of Union Progreso and Democracia, a political party in Spain. Mr. Silva, thank you very much for joining us. Now, what exactly happens next? The government of Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy says it will trigger Article 155 of Spain's constitution. And uh, that seems to be exactly what Puigdemont wanted in the first place, to be able to then go ahead and unilaterally declare independence from Spain. Is this really the best way to end the crisis? Well, I think uh, that it's clear that Puigdemont wants to um, increase the crisis by um, his answer, to his reply to the, to the um, opportunity that the government was given in given to him by making another threat at this time, saying that he um, will probably or he can propose to vote that um, unilateral declaration of independence in the, in the Catalan parliament. So that will increase um, the demonstrations in the street probably. But that's probably what puts them on once and to make it in order to make it an international affair and to call for international mediation, which is one of the things that he's been uh, proposing. International med mediation. It's very interesting because many across Spain, and I believe you share this view, uh, see the independence referendum as the event that triggered this whole crisis, while others believe that it was Spain's response to the referendum. What do you have to say about that? Well, I think that's something that's been planned for a long time. It's not nothing that has happened spontaneously or that has come from bottom to top. I think that the uh, Catalan political elites have been preparing this for years. So they have different arguments to justify the, the different measures they, they've taken. But the final goal, we don't have to forget that, is independence. So they have different plans. Now, I suppose that they think that the only way out for this situation is j just to bring um, the international attention um, to it. But there's nothing, as some of your guests before said, there's nothing outside the law. So I think that the, uh, the answer of the Spanish, the national government, is proportionate and uh, that the use and the application of Article 155 is the only way out to this crisis. Well, what I was referring to is Spain's response to the referendum, the way Spanish police took uh, to the streets of Barcelona that day, trying to get the ballot boxes away from people. We saw some very violent scenes in Barcelona. Nobody expected that to be the reaction of uh, the Spanish government. Um, how do, do you think that Spain could have handled things differently? Could have handled things um, better by acting before they acted. I think that when the government decided to send to send uh, the police to, to Catalonia to reinforce, it's, we must um, we mustn't forget that it was to support the um, regional police that disobeyed. Uh, the orders of, of the national government. So the situation of the police there was really difficult. It was probably provoked by the reaction of, of the national government in, in the way that it was, um, it happened too late. But I think that the reaction of the police was proportionate um, if we consider the, the extremely um, the extremely problematic situation that they, they had to leave. Also, the reaction of many people uh, was violent, many of, of the voters, and that's probably not seen um, internationally because then, you know, they, they're experts in, in selling their own narrative to the uh, international opinion. And that's another of the things that the government, the, the national government, hasn't done, um, hasn't done well, right? He hasn't been able to explain to the world what is really happening in Catalonia. All right, well, it's really hard to believe or to accept that the Spanish police has acted um, responsibly that day of that referendum. But unfortunately, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much, Mr. Carlos Silva, member of the National Executive Council of Union Progreso and Democracia, a Spanish political party, for joining us here on TRT World.